Hi and welcome to another Honest Review and today I wanted to revisit one of the earliest reviews I ever did on this channel way back in 2017 when I first started out and it's for the No-No hair removal device. And the reason I wanted to go back um, and take another look at this product is that it's probably the most controversial gadget that I have reviewed. And I say that because I've had so many comments over the last two and a half years um, of people saying that it didn't work for them. And I had one in particular just the other day, which was written in capital letters and somebody saying, do not go near this. It's a scam. It doesn't work. And um, when I see comments like that, I think it's probably, um, or I fear that it's people uh, seeing um, that I've done a video on it and assuming that I am promoting this product. And that's not what I do. Um, you know, I am not selling no-no devices. I was sent this product for independent review by the manufacturer. I wasn't paid to review it and I wouldn't ask for money for a review. The way I work is that sometimes um, companies will approach me and um, tell me about their product and ask if I will review it. And I do, and no money changes hands. Um, sometimes I'll turn them down if I don't think it's that interesting, if I don't think it's something that my audience will be interested in. Um, other times I will buy a product or service myself um, and I'll review it that way. But obviously I can't afford to just buy something to review all the time. So it does help when people um, send me products like this. So that was where I was coming from on this review. Um, I followed the instructions and um, the way this product works is it sends heat into the hair follicle, so down the hair into the follicle with the idea being that it weakens the regrowth of your hair. So it singes the hair, that's the first thing that you see. Um, and then when the hair grows back, after multiple uses over time, your growth should be thinned. And that is what happened for me. But let's go back and take uh, a look at the original review, just a snippet from it, showing you how this device actually works. And it's also an opportunity for you to check out my very early, uh, slightly wooden presenting skills, which, you know, haven't much improved over the years, but still trying and um, also to enjoy my questionable eye makeup. Let's take a look. But first, let's take a look at how it works. Taking the lid off, you'll see this little removable tip here. This is actually for larger areas of hair growth like your legs or arms. There's a smaller tip that you can use if you want to remove facial hair. And uh, to start using it, you just plug the tip in and you're pretty much ready to go. This roller here is what's gonna activate the device. And the idea is that you want to use the um, the no-no slowly and steadily rolling up your arm till you get that light on. And you can see there, I'm not doing it properly at the moment. That light, blue light needs to be on constantly, not flickering on and off. And once you move it slowly, just pressing very lightly into the skin, it starts to work. You know it's working because the first thing that hits you is the smell of burning hair. And that's because the hair is being singed right down to the tip and it's being removed. So I'm just gliding this over the hair. It is quite a smell, I can tell you. You don't wanna be using this around other people. Um, but you can just sit in front of the TV at night and do this. The only thing I'm feeling is a gentle heat. This isn't burning my skin. Um, so it is, as they say, completely painless to use. So there you go. So once you've done that a few times and you can see that the hair is singed down to its root, the next step is just to use this buffer to take away any hair that's removing and to get completely smooth skin. Now, the hair on my arm being lighter and uh, probably a bit finer, 
the no-no works perfectly on. This has literally taken off all the hair on my arm. Um, on my legs, it's a different story um, because I'm shaving my legs, the hair is coarser, there's stubble. Um, so I've been using it on my legs for a couple of weeks and I've still got stubble there. Uh, and that's gonna take a good bit longer. So the idea, the makers say, is that you use this two to three times a week. So when the hair starts to grow back, you go back over it and you're gonna carry on doing that for at least a couple of months. And over that period of time, you should see the growth on, um, on the hair growth start to slow down considerably. Um, there's also a little cream that comes when you first get the, the Nono Pro and you can use that to, again, help slow down the hair growth by just putting it on each time you use the device. So that's how the product works. And um, I used it um, as per the instructions, I used it three to four times a week uh, for at least two months. I think I went on, I continued with it for about three months. Um, and what I found was when I was using it on my legs, it was a bit frustrating because um, the marketing kind of suggested that when you use this, it will get rid of all your hair. That's the feeling you get. It doesn't actually say that, but that's the feeling you get from the marketing. Um, it'll get rid of all your hair in those sessions and then it'll grow in um, more slowly and start to thin over time. And that really appealed to me. What actually happens is when you use this gadget, um, it doesn't get rid of all the hair at once. It kind of singes it and leaves a little bit of stubble. Um, and so if you were going out for a night out or whatever, you would, you would have to shave uh, to get rid of the rest of it. However, what this gadget does do is over time, it did reduce my hair growth. So after about three months of regular use, I would say that I had half the amount of hair on my legs as I did before. And that still remains the case today. It still works. I don't use it that regularly, but in the winter months, I'll get it back out again um, and I'll go back over my legs. Um, and I think it just helps to just chip away at it over time. Um, you know, I would have loved that it had got, got rid of all the hair on my legs, but it didn't. Did that mean that I would say on a review that it didn't work? No, it did work because, you know, what it says on the website and on the marketing is that it will slow hair growth, hair regrowth. And that is what it does. Um, I, my, my view was also coloured by the fact that about 10, 10, 12 years ago, I had IPL treatment. The technology wasn't at its height when I had it, but I paid about £800 and it worked you know, it, it worked minimally. I had a few bald patches on my legs and that was it. Um, so I actually felt, funnily enough, that the um, no-no worked better than the IPL. That will be different today. The IPL technology is much stronger and I know people who have no hair at all after going through full courses of IPL. But IPL is expensive and I felt that at 200 pounds, as it was when I reviewed it, um, you know, that that amount is now lower. I think when I last looked a couple of days ago on Boots website, this was selling for £159. Um, and I felt that was easily doing the job of what one or two IPL sessions would, would do. However, it's a hassle. You have to put a lot of time and a lot of effort into that for some reduction of hair growth. That was the result for me anyway. Um, so I wanted to just do that update and give you a fresh perspective, having taken in all the comments over the last couple of years um, and also, you know, having the benefit of hindsight. Um, the no-no, if you are buying it, you have to manage your expectation and be aware that this is not going to work quickly and very possibly you are going to be um, left with some growth. Um, so, you know, it's something to bear in mind. But I do think that it is useful in helping to thin hair growth. That has been another honest review. There are plenty more uh, like this on the channel. I review everything from beauty to household products and more. Uh, so do take a look and uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.